Uh, hey guys, we're uh, we're about to see what's behind this big old door. Yeah, that I was thinking about this. What, what do you think is going to be behind it? I think it's just going to be that fucking monotuma. The monotuma. Monotumer. The monotumer. Yeah. That's what, <laughs> what do you mean? What's gonna, He's. It's just going to be a giant one. Yeah. It's is just that what you be think? Him farting. Farting. Yeah. Okay. It's just going to be fucking. It's just going to be his ass. It's going to be a big. We got to find a way to get past this barrier. Is okay. He a teddy bear or panda. He's a te he's I don't fucking know. He's he's a weird fucking design that Jungo came up with. This is a control panel for the barrier. It's like the one in the X saw hanger. I should be able to disable the barrier with the passcode. Okay, so do a passcode word. Does anyone know it? You gotta you gotta move a little to the to the All left. Right, All right, hey, we don't need that. I'm, I'm what do you mean I'm You're fucking a Hitler? Dictator. You're a fucking dictator. Move here. Do that. Don't talk. Why 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 Hitler? Why not uh <coughs> All right, Mussolini? Well, <laughs> not Mussolini. All right, he's Mussolini right, into Trump. into the fucking Trump's not a dictator. He, he wants to be. So he's a if, dick one. He, he's, pray, he's a dick one. everyone, pray. I'm if glad those kids are ripping him a new one. We just got to destroy Get it with these hammers. Guns. It seems this lock is controlled electronically, so we can use the electro hammer to open it. Let's destroy this control panel with the hammers and open this big dumb gat. Then everybody will be over. We can get, say... I can't fucking talk. Uh, okay. okay. You're like Trump. Yeah. Finally, this death game is going to end. At yeah, least we right. can return get rid of to the our fucking normal guns. Lives. Americans are just known as fucking cowboys. Mom. Shooting everybody. That, like we're mom, fighting mom, against the mom. Cherokees still. Jesus mom, Christ. this is a big scene. Okay. We'll Probably. be able to go home to those normal lives. No, you won't. The There's secret no of the outside no. world. Couldn't be that awful, right? Let's go. It's finally time to graduate from this Academy of Lies. With oh, that Kaito swung. Just open the fucking door. Smash the town into the control panel. All right, now what? Let's see. Hurry up. <clears throat> Paul has to flu really bad. Uh, I'm not going in that house. We're, we're about to see something big, and you're talking about How do you flu. know? I don't know if it's big. I do. Lock disabled. Okay. <gasps> the door is unlocked. <laughs> now we just gotta open up this gate. Let's all work together. We can do it. Finally, we can get out. She's the mastermind. You think so? I don't know. We all ran to the door. She's a bitch. And with our one hands, of them, with our one of them are the masterminds. Probably the fucking robot. Who cares if he dies? Just we build another one. We open that door. Our door to the future. A future of hope and despair. How do you know it's hope and despair? He just said it. This, well, how do you know he is? This mirrors the ending of the first What's game. What's it, the big fucking sun? Oh, it's a mirror? <laughs> how does that look like a mirror to you? I don't fucking know. I can't see. It's just a big light. What is it? Go to the light. <gasps> What the fuck? <gasps> yeah. What the fuck is that outside? Uh, look, sure look like it. Or is it just a painting? That looked outside. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> we do not look happy about this. <gasps> well, he looks like he has the flu. Well, he's dying anyway. Yeah. Oh my god. What is this? What's going on? What is this? Really? Oh, I can't breathe. Well, that's because you're ah. dying. Die already. I can't breathe. Well, I can't breathe either. Shuichi can't breathe. Wait a minute. They all can't breathe? Yeah. Well, what is it? Are they on a fucking other planet? This door is now locked. Barely conscious we heard a sound in our heads. Oh, crap. Well, it, Wait, they it locked be, the door back up? It wouldn't be in our heads. It would be outside our heads. What? What happened? Really? They closed the door again? Well, it closed automatically. Oh, hey, what's up? Congrats. You finished the killing game. What? Kokichi. Are you okay? Get it together. It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know. Your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? What? Humanity? What the fuck was well, that? the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. All right. What, I shook knows? my head, dizzy. The ground spun under my f under me, but I managed to get to my feet, and at the same time... Wait, did they all not be... Were they really, truly not able to breathe? It, was it there... seemed like it. They all passed out. What, what was that just now? You fucking know. Or you know. What, what's going on on the other side of that door was where even are we what in the world is going on good morning everyone how are you guys feeling oh god terrible this guy needs a knife in his throat. of course you guys are because you now know the truth of the outside world yeah but are they on another planet the, he'll explain everything the truth of the outside world you saw it right the outside girl world you guys so desperately long for doesn't exist what are you talking about what do you mean it doesn't exist do you want to know then i'll tell you I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, kay? okay? Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. Okay. Remember the meteors? Yeah. Okay. 
it's raining down on Earth, the leaders of every nation realize that we could not escape the end of the world. I don't think okay. that would make them work together. The leaders of every nation. Yeah, probably not. Please, please. Oh, that's loud. Hold on, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez, you better not interrupt me again, or I'm not going to tell you anything. Got that? But, um, Kiba, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing on where we left off. Does he know because he had a flashlight? We'll see. Okay. Wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. Yeah, they should be fine with it. They decided to implement a plan. Okay. The Gopher Project. A oh. plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. So we are oh. in space, maybe. Oh, okay. They may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. Yeah, so then they have a p killing game to kill each other. To save <laughs> yeah. Space, okay. But rather, to salvage the human race. 16 young and talented high schoolers were chosen Why would you choose fucking high schoolers? Well, because they have a longer lifespan and they're almost the adults. Adam and Eve's of the new world uh, were known as the Yeah, the Adam and Eve, so you fucking kill them. But the 16 well, students refused to participate. Oh, I get it. Well, it's obvious why they would Why not? Yeah, well, Surviving alone, family and friends. Yeah, but they're all going to die. So what yeah. the fuck? Hell right. So then the 16 students decided to flee from the project. But then what happened? They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. Yeah, remember at the beginning of the game? Right, yeah. We didn't know that we were ultimates. Right. But then what happened? <laughs> but it was around that time a certain cult organization rose in power. Oh, shit. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. I'd probably be with these That's people. That's like a religious shit. No, <laughs> no I wouldn't. They plotted to sabotage the plan. I'd probably just be totally indifferent either way. That's when the ultimate hunt began. I'd probably be like, oh. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the Yeah, but the 16 students didn't remember. The organization right? responsible yeah. for the Gopher Project. Yeah, remember this? Misinformation. Oh, claiming that they all died. Oh, I yeah. get it. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students. But who did it? Carry out the Gopher Project. Okay. Monokuma. Yeah, Monokuma did it. Succeeded. <coughs> so the world was destroyed? I mean, it wasn't like 100% destroyed, it seems. Were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. So did they come back to Earth then? Maybe. How and that arc is the true identity of this academy. Huh? What? Yeah, so let's get some more. The ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. It okay. certainly looks like one. All right. <laughs> kind of, not really. This whole academy is one giant spaceship colony? You need to shut up. What What are you saying? <laughs> you really think I'll believe that? He's a fucking... Oh, hold on is now. Is he part human? This story isn't done yet. Who, Kibo? Yeah. Maybe. Don't you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark? Humanity's last hope. Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. A horrible person hiding among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human but race. why would they want What? That? It was the leader of the cult organization trying oh. to crush the Gopher Project. Oh. And they hid among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on this ship. Yep, that robot is Monokuma. Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed into a state of cold sleep. We're only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back oh, to the ruined Earth. okay. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they are now here. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... Yeah, that's Earth. What you Shit. guys just saw, that's Earth now. That, uh... Yeah, but not everything's... Uh, look, there's still a shell of building. It's not like yeah, it's annihilated. Yeah, and that, uh... <laughs> that lamp doesn't look that destroyed. No, it's it just it's, like it's just tilted Florida a little bit after one of their five thousand hurricanes. You know? <laughs> yeah, just just like a little more red. What yeah. what's that in the in Might the be Puerto ground? Rico. What? Well, that there's like things coming up from the ground. It kind of looks like teeth. Uh, yeah, what, what the fuck is, is that? that? I have I don't know, like branches, weeds. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's very symmetrical Trees. for uh, for a fucking destroyed place. It's like arranged well. Yeah, it's weird. Go ahead. What you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years. <gasps> it's been a few hundred years? Possibly. Oh, you think it might be a lie? Well, who knows? I mean, we're on... Without we're... oxygen, or that's why they couldn't breathe. Yes. 
Oh, shit. A fucking helicopters. What planes. happened to the oxygen, though? Is the truth the oxygen. And why is it dark outside? They, uh, the sun's still around. Uh, did they? Did it go off its axis? Oh, let me just I don't know, keep going. actually. They, they don't really explain some of the, okay. those things. There's no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. Like, oh, would a meteorite-like like, storm just, like, destroy all the CO2 or something? I, I don't oh. know. The outside world doesn't exist anymore. Why does he think that doesn't exist? Yeah. The Earth and humans have died out ages ago, except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Yeah, they're dead, too. The last seven survivors of humanity. That's a lie. It's definitely a lie. Man. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know? So that anyway, I gotta confess, you know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. What? Huh? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who snuck Amanakuma onto the Ark is... Him? Me. What? Is he the mastermind? Are you fucking kidding Kokichi, me? He can't the... be the mastermind well, because there's still killing left to do. Yeah, it's only chapter five. There's six really? chapters, what so what does that mean? He's a liar. He's a liar. I didn't want to just crush the gopher project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. So I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. That's a, that's a, I like that face. It's a good face. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? What? Pretty bad. What, you? It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. It's all gotta be a lie. <laughs> the way you said it, it's like, what could be better? W you? Really? You could be better is... <laughs> oh, you want me to lie now? But you guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> I think I'll show you the irrefutable face. evidence that I am the mastermind. Kokichi took what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Oh, shit. What? Exosols? What's going on? I thought only the mono cubs could control the exosol. Maybe he is the mastermind. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I can Wait, everything. Or maybe he's not the mastermind. Now, yeah. That will just popped out. Yeah. As long as I have the master remote control, ah. all exosols move on my command. Oh. But who knows? Maybe he just found that. But who knows? Maybe. Then So you really are the mastermind? Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start. But for you to be the mastermind. You look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. Yeah, that fucking stupid rock bullshit. Really? I, I was waiting with so much anticipation to see when you guys would figure it out. Hmm. It's it's drawing on a hint. rock. You left that message for this? But I guess that that precious hint went to waste, all because you bastards trusted each other. Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized I was the mastermind earlier, and there could have been less victims. Oh, I'm disappointed. Actually, Kaede had the right idea to, to try and kill the mastermind at the start. I agree. Too bad, though. If only she had killed me then, the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth to the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Could there right? be two masterminds? We, we don't know. Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know? Are you saying it's the truth? Were we just being led around by you this whole time? Mad. Oh, you mad? So what are you gonna do about it? Of course I'm mad. Really? Don't think you won just because you've got the exosols on your side, because we've got the electro hammers. Yeah, kill what? it. What? What's happening? Wow. Oh, typical Kaito. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. The electro hammer. At that moment, his electro hammer powered down, and not just Kaito's. Oh, God, everyone. Every electro hammer powered down at once. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But, but that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. How long were we passed out? <gasps> Did you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaito, your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Don't, don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know? You can't resurrect the dead, and you can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? Even if that is the case. I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Yeah, so fucking Wait. kill him. I tried to stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop! But Maki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaito charged at the Exosol and was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exosol's hand like a ragdoll. Is he dead? Maybe, who knows? Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. Okay, he's not dead. <laughs> Jeez, though, that sucks. Now you know, right? There's no use defying me. The mastermind. <laughs> These exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from oh, any danger that's that interesting. Up on other planets. Like aliens. Now I think it's hilarious. Hilarious. To become a threat to you guys. It's a bee, Mario. <laughs> oh, I like, <laughs> I like, I like that hair. Me too. Give Kaito huh? 
Maki? Give Kaito back! Hmm. Her eyes screaming murder, Maki glared at Kokichi and moved toward him. No, Maki, even if you... Let go! Do you want to die? Maki! It's no I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki! Shuichi. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. Yeah, but your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending, where I wear blackface all day. <laughs> ending? What did you say? Is this... If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world are destroyed and we're the last human beings left, what are we supposed to do from now on? How about doing anything you want? Huh? I don't... I know I started the whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. That's why I want to reveal the truth. I want to see other despair on your faces. Yuppers, I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Hold on. You were the one that started all this? That's so irresponsible. <laughs> irresponsible isn't the word I would use. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that too. So what is he gonna fucking do? We'll see. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's arc. It's supposed to be humanity. I mean, wouldn't we run out of oxygen eventually? I don't know. Are they making it somehow? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. Ah, see? That's just one of the arcs. Oh, that's oh, what it shit. looks like. Oh my god. Huh. Uh, okay. I thought it was like you... sketched. So that means So anyway, the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. What? I don't know what to do. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Oh, I just want him to chill out for a bit. Yeah. I mean, he's already sick, so this is not helping. Yeah, really. But what's wrong with him? Do we know? He's got space aids. No, he doesn't. Then that's also the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. It seems like he doesn't want the killing game to continue. Anyway, Shuichi, can I have the Exosol Hangers alarm remote back? What? I was thinking that'd be the perfect place to keep Kaito in. What? Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Hand it over, Shuichi. Bastard. Don't give it to him. <laughs> you know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? No, what? This school is mine! I am the king! Yeah, he's probably lying. Oma. I'm the mastermind and king you think he's lying? You don't think he's really the mastermind? I don't think so. I think he probably found a video where he had a flashlight yes. that was just, you know, telling him what happened. Maybe. We'll find out. Sorry. Maki. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, God. Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us, and left. And that's it. He left us there with the truth, the truth of our despair. Uh, alright, so what do we do now? So there's three women, and three men, yeah, basically. Maki. The robot can't procreate. That's you. Coward. I know. But I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. Uh, alright. Can I leave? Uh, Kibo, what do you have to say? Dude, you could fucking go out there. You don't have to breathe. Oh, that's right. The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship, and we're the 16 survivors? This killing game we've been playing. Why pit the re remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? And the mastermind who engineered all this and is forcing us to participate is Kokichi? Oh, no. I can't. My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. But there's still a lot of questions. Smoogi, what do you gotta say? Samugi, are you okay? She's got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. Uh, Himiko. Uh, Himiko, are you okay? Am I okay? How could I be okay? The outside world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. Everyone at school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. That pedophile down the street, even he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> what if she said that? It would be funny. Calm down, Himiko. Where's Jared? Where's Jack? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Uh, okay, I, ha I just had to talk to everyone. The whole truth was revealed, the conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. 
Trying to get outside was pointless, and we played the killer game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Nonsense. So what did all the others die for, then? <laughs> so this is the despair that Gonta felt? Hold on, what did it... Oh, sh I can't hear it. So much despair you want to die? It really is just like that. If it's like this, it would have been better if I died a lot earlier. Hey, why are you alive? You shouldn't have survived this long. Then it's all over now. Okay, that's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death. No more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... We all should have just died a long time ago. Well, that's kind of true. Yeah. I mean... If in fact, that's all true. Yeah, maybe it was all a lie. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my body in the bed, numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair. But the sleep came anyway. And now it's time for some Monokuma God, theaters. Did you know that? <laughs> what movie is this? Face off. Oh, Titanic. Yep. Stupid. Did you know that when you talk so to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? This is true. Their voice is converted to synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone reassembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's That's voice. Re this reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor. The only difference is the aroma and the food coloring dye. I don't... I'm not, not sure true. if that's true. Do you think these facts are lies? Yes. Do you deny that these facts are lies? The first one is true. The What would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? Oh, I bet it would be dumb, a very lonesome dumb, world. fucking lies. dumb. Well, I mean, the main theme of the game is lies, so... Truth and lies. Mm. So that's, that's why they're saying this bullshit. Okay. And now... So, uh, alright. Well, Monokuma's gone. What's that about? He's gone? Yeah, well, I wasn't either. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point to morning announcements now. So, it's really over? There's no point to this killing game anymore? Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. There's no reason to... This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. He's like totally in despair. He's just oh, like, of course, fuck well, this. You know. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? Oh. Oh, I guess I've been in bed all day. What? Oh, that's another day? Yeah. Oh, A full oh, day has passed. I, he's, he's depressed. I wonder what Kaito is doing. That's right. Okay. I wonder if Kaito is okay. Is he... It's no use. My mind isn't working. And my body. Well, he has to get up to pee. I... <laughs> Again? Another fucking do not stupid? He's been he's been shitting himself in bed. Oh. What what movie do you think this is? You probably don't know this. I don't know. This is Dawn of the Dead. No, if, I had no idea. If you're searching oh, for the those meaning are like of life... zombies? Yes. Zombie monocles? You're zombies. already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning. It just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Poo hoo hoo! It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. All right, so what are we gonna see now? Oh, all right. I've just been in bed for two days straight. It seems. But it's still the same, same announcement for nothing. Nothing's there. Bleh. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I no should one get came up, to check on him? Or I might not even get up again. I... I don't care. If I just kill my... Okay, so he's... Legit com contemplating killing himself. What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to the door. Who could it be? Who is it? Who do you think it is? On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... That's how you get, like, okay. fucking shin splints. Not shin splints, the other you thing. You terrible. Where you're just in bed. Maki? <laughs> Go take a shower oh, or something. Anything to help your face. <laughs> he does not look good. He just looks like... He looks the same. He, he does pretty look the same. 
I, I think most people would look worse if they were in bed for like two days. He's got like he's got like a little bit of bedhead and his his so, eyelashes all right, are the go same. Take a shower, okay? I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Okay. Can I can I take a shower and we'll get a extended shower scene? Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall. I guess I should go. Yeah, take a shower first, stink ball. I heard and took a hot shower, then left my room. Oh, we don't we get to say see hot his hot water, food, we beds, please. TVs? We don't get to see his nice ass. Uh, yeah. But there's no like TV stations. Ah, uh, repeat. Uh, yeah, I guess. Like they need a generator. How does it like have like unlimited power? It seems. Don't know. Because it's if it's been like a few hundred years, that's you, you think that would run out. Is there anyone around? Okay, I guess not. I guess we're just going straight to the... Straight to the dino. Alright. So let's see what everyone has to say. Everyone was in the dining hall besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. Everyone here looks terrible. I mean, yeah. Really? Even I look terrible? Well, your eyes aren't on, so... Right. Well, your face always looks like that. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? What? I want to go without suffering, Maki. So you can do something about that? <laughs> can you do something? Okay, sure. Wait. But before that, take a look at this. Is that a flashback light? Uh-huh. Oh. Where, where did you get that? Where'd you put that? Um, Maki, why do you have that? It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. It was just sitting there? K Kokichi probably just put it there. Well, to confirm the, tr the truth, perhaps. If we use that flashback light, we may recover, mem recover memories that corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us? We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but... We should check this flashback light first. Yeah, why not? What? Why do we have to do that? Because it's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. Yeah, that makes sense. And even if it is dang and even if it is dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. So let's do what we can. Well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. <laughs> what if it turns out like we were all... So when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? That's usually what death is. Then it's decided. Kibo, Suichi, are you fine with that? Yes, very well then. Uh, yeah, I guess. Let's, let's fucking do it. And thus it was decided, fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. So let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. And on it goes. Maki switched on the flashback light, and at that moment... The world flipped upside down, turned inside out, what? bouncing off the ceiling. Right, so what happened? <laughs> we're, okay. gonna, we're gonna see. Whoa, whoa, what are those words? Did you see those... Do those words look familiar to you? No. You didn't see them? No. That's it. Said? I remember. Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. What? What is he, a program? I mean... Where's the... What's that? The academy. It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. This isn't surprising to you? That, that it's actually related to the older games? Yeah. Hope's Peak Academy. And the events that tore that school apart yeah. changed the world. Yeah. Okay. So it is a sequel after all. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. They never actually gave a number, so half... Right, now yeah, that we know okay. that, that's pretty... a lot. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. There she is! Yeah. The ultimate despair, Junko okay. Anoshima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world as a spare. And here's the theme. Hey! Remember these guys? I do! The killing game of the 70th class of Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. 
Oh, there she is. But after Junko and Oshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. Or did it? But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done sowing chaos. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And now the music... Oh, never mind. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. There's the music. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Oh. This is kind of happy music for such a, like, fucked up thing. Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. The future foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makoto Naege, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, remember him, the main character of the first yep. game? Started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Do, 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 do. Only, gen only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. That is something he would say. With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. Yeah, but wait, That's how did it. they select them? Did they know the meteor well, was coming? Well, well let's listen. That's it. We weren't, all the f we weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. Yep, that's what it looks like. We were students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was like the last, in that it accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. Oh god, a lot of talking. But we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. And then we'll appear again, like... <laughs> from the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. What? Yeah. Shit, they all died? The oh. mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread oh, rapidly maybe around what the world. This has. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed. But cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. Uh, whoa, it's a mountain, but we just happened to be immune to the virus. Oh. What, what the fuck is. Oh, that's Hope speaking in the back. That was the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. All right, just yeah, DNA. Thing. Yeah, the right. we we just happen uh, people that are all the same age in high school just happen to be the ones that were immune, the only ones right. immune in the world. That's that's uh, that's fun. I finally remembered. <laughs> you getting hungry? No, oh, hey. I just ate something. My the, that world, so this world, it's all connected. Yeah, it's like a it's like a thing. It's all connected. That's it. Everyone, did you all remember? And there's the music. Yes, I can viv vividly recall everything now. Yes. Yeah, why? How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope Peaks Academy. Hope Academy. We were the symbols of hope and trusted with the survival of humanity. Except for one person. That punk. Kokichi Oma. The mastermind behind this killing game is organization's real identity. What was it? Her. Oh, shit. Okay. That's right. Is that really what it was? I mean, he is the closest, but we're making a lot of assumptions right now. So obvious, a killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Yeah. Fuck them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's just keep oh, re God. reusing these really? CGs. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's yeah, this is definitely something she would do. What a what a jerk. Right. That this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mires hope and dark despair. Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? Yeah, that's There's, interesting. That's only something that Remnants of Despair would do. They admire Junko and Oshima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us despair, but he got bored of that plan. Yeah. 
Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined? That's the ultimate despair for you? <laughs> What's wrong, Maki? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. It's, okay. it's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Well, when, when someone says that, you know that it's not fine. Are you sure? We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. Did you change her voice? There's no I mean, hope left for us. Because that's a good voice for her, what you were doing just now. Now we just need to become that hope. Huh? What's with all of you all of a sudden? If, I must. if all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope Speak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. Fought for nothing? That's what my inner voice is telling me. The, that no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what it's urging me to do. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will move forward with hope. Kibo! Right now, there's no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that allowed. meaning for not ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new Hope Peak Academy, rebuilt as a symbol of hope. <laughs> Do you have trouble saying Hope's Peak Academy? If we, the students of Hope's Peak, <laughs> give up, the world really will be plunged into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm going to live till the end and never give up. We won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. But Whoop. making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. No, it's not. It's a pain, right. but it'll be worth it. I'll live, I'll live for a hundred million more years. Okay, you guys, you're right, let's do it. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes, as long as we stand <laughs> together without giving in to despair, we will find a new hope. <laughs> of, of the Star Wars movie. We all stood in unison. We each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope board in this academy, a tree of life with roots down deep. It was supporting each and every one of us. Uh. Yeah, motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> <laughs> this is the power of hope. Hop. With a laugh like that, you sound like a ma mage <laughs> and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> you sound less, less not like. like. Oh, right. <laughs> Kokichi may have left the flashback light to make us give up, but if that was his plan, it failed. It's true, it does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. So what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kokichi? We've got... We've got to stop you-know-who, the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Mm. We have to save Kaito, too. Right. Yeah, of course. What was that voice? We have to save Kaito, so too. stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. Yeah, positivity. With Kaito by our side encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Yes, that's exactly right. I knew that even in a situation like this, he'd think of something. The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaito? They're in the Exocell hangar. Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped in there, but... By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. By chance, really? Yeah, what does that mean? I bet the truth is, you were worried about Kaito and were watching the hangar all day. <laughs> Looks like that was the case. Yeah, she's embarrassed. So uh, it's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. I just had nothing else to do. And I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Yeah. Stop, stop. We were just getting mushy. But you have to make it all bloody instead. Well, that's what mushy is when you, when literally, we know they're in the Exosol hangar, but how do we get them out? Yeah, well, what we got, what we do. By the, way. the hangar has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. That's you. Oh, and there's also an electronic barrier, right? You need to do something about that, too. Yes. But even approaching that control panel will set off the alarm, too. Uh. So many problems right from the start. What should we do? It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Okay, l let's go on and talk to Mako. How do you plan to get past the alarm system and barrier? With the electro hammer. Well. Uh, 
If you hit the panel, the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock on the exit to the outside world. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong button. Hey! -ya! It won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off because before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. What if you throw it? That's true. Then uh, we'll use this. Ah, is that? Yeah, that's the uh, electro bomb that it jams signals for two hours. Blah blah blah. Yeah. We all know that. Why do you have that, Maki? There were only three, and I thought Kokichi had them. I stole it from his pocket. Uh, yeah, when he girl. when she was doing that. Do, Do yeah. It. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Hey, as expected. Your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. <laughs> when, did, when did we establish she has kleptomania? The the terrifying glare part was a joke. So can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Yes, that's it. Uh, Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use that electro bomb to get inside the hangar. Not only that, it will disable all communication. Okay. Yeah, that should include the remote control Kokichi uses for the exosols. Oh, good. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokichi will be good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. What, are you becoming Mew? No. What? But he might still be able to control an exosol from inside. Butt naked? No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. He'll keep it in his ass. Then we should bring the electro hammers as a precaution against the exosols. Nit Chang, I just left mine sitting around without charging it. <laughs> yeah, it's like your phone. Sorry, but I did too. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. We're going to wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Um, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Maki, I know that you don't need to wait a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until m tomorrow, when everyone is ready. Fine, that's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait. No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... Yeah, punk. But if we kill him, then everything will end, and we have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No. But you can't. Right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we feel bad after we kill... We'll feel bad after we kill She's him. She's killed a lot of people before. It would be no different than the killing game that has caused us so much suffering. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that Remnants of Despair or Kira would do. That's a Death Note okay. thing. But Kaito said the killing is wrong, remember? So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine, if everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. But if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll, I'll definitely kill him. Wow, Maki's actually reliable? No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. <laughs> oh, God damn it! If a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. That is true. Oh, this girl needs to be killed now. <laughs> Did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko, you stupid piece of shit. Really? She needs to go. <laughs> but it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. Okay. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were said in Terry, said feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito, because Kaito was worried about her. She promised to work hard to do her best. Ah, uh, of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. She'd ask you that either way. What are you looking at? Sorry. So, sorry, yeah. Hey. Let's do our best, then the, the three of us can train together again. Yeah, let's get back to the thing. Okay, uh... God, that seems so long ago. We finalized our plan to get into the Exosol hangar tomorrow morning. What, training? Yeah. Until then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. That's because we wait, like, weeks be between sessions. We split up focused and determined. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Sometimes we do two, two a week, sometimes we do one a week. Yeah. It doesn't matter, it's a long game. It is a long game, and we're yeah. nearing the end. I mean, I'm thinking we'll have, like, nine sessions left. First, we need to charge the Electro Hammer, but I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. What's he gonna say? Uh, yeah, my talent's useless. So he's like, "No, that's not true. There has to be something I can do." Right? I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaito. He's hurt and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. All right, I'll go. Uh, all right, let's uh get on out of here. Why is it morning already? What? No, it's oh. no. It's still daytime, but I need to uh, 
I need to go to the here. Go to the here? Yeah. Do, 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 do. So, uh, we, we gotta scout. If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi's at a hangar, there's a good chance the Exosols are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Alright. Yeah, gotta be careful. Oh, what's going on Ooh, over there? Yeah. Huh? What? What are they, just dancing? Bonokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exosols protecting him? This, this is the point where I figured everything out. But why now? Really? And why all four of them? Kokichi's controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the Exosols are here, they aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. Really? Definitely yeah. not. All right. So, uh, here we are. Uh, yeah, but, but will the alarm yeah, go off? Yeah, the alarm will go off. The alarm is enabled. Okay, so now what? The electric barrier's up, too. I can't get close to the shutter, and I only saw four exosols. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go peeping. So what we got going on in here? There's a window, the bathroom window. Can I see inside from there? I peeked into the small window and saw a silhouette on the other side. Huh? What? Hey, what's up? doing here? Kaito! Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Uh, is he close by? No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. That's a good place to be locked up, because if you have to go... Who's if he sees you here? He's got the Exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? Yeah, I can't fucking do anything. I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. Eh. Yeah. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. I like the detail in the art. Like, they even make some of the screws, like, kind mm -hmm. of fucked up. That's, like, that's really detailed. Yeah. She knows that you would never give up. No I didn't notice that the first time. Kaito Momota, luminary of the star. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. Would you give up? No. Story if, the hero gave if, up. if if you were the last person on alive? Yeah, no. That's right. But I mean, it'd be no purpose. But I would want to stay alive just in case there <laughs> just was a purpose. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it will be okay. I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Yeah, this is fair advice. An Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an electro hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Yeah, you're fucking sick. Me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. <laughs> Back from where? About what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Okay, so he's forgiven me. Good. That's a good thing. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Oh, what does that mean? Don't forget. You're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. But times are hard. You gotta rely on your friends. Yeah. Rely on friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. You got it, Shuichi. Kind of thank you. Thank you for being my friend. I understand. All right. Now, get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Okay, bye. Uh, and after leaving Kaito with a smile, I returned to my room. We we going to sleep now? All right. Yeah. Is the right. Monokuma Theater? No, not yet. There's no point wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle. While I was meditating on it... What? It became nighttime before I knew it. And then... The Duma Duma Theater? Yep. What, what does he have in the bottom left? I didn't, didn't get a good enough look. We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaito has taught me. I have to do it. To live. To find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep into my heart. I wouldn't be able to fucking sleep. Don't yeah. panic, just stay calm and listen. Oh, this is a... I believe this is a Korean movie. Never heard of it. 
Uh, well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late. This isn't old what? boy, is it? It's already too late for I don't know. You kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is well. The thought of seeing young people brimming with hope kill each other just to survive. Watching their hope fade away. There's nothing more despair-inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other. It makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. What ass? I've gone and done it. Gone and done what? What What was that implying? I have no idea. Hoy, a boy. And what are they going to say? Yeah, what is that in the bottom left? What what it's kind of sushi? Oh, it is sushi. Okay. I wasn't I wasn't sure. It's like a maki roll. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, over here we go, dining hall. All right, let's I grabbed the electro hammer and ran out of my room. All right. <sighs> we gotta no, we're not teleporting to the to the fuck. Ah. Uh is anybody outside? Nope. No one is outside. We're all just uh all just Everyone's already in there. Everyone's all hardened and ready. But first I have to pee. Nah, maybe later. Uh into dining hall. Uh, all right. We're all here. Everyone. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course. My electro hammer is all recharged. Recharged. Or whatever. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Hmm. Maki, where's your electro hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm familiar with. But you already used it. Okay. This is much better. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey. Then we're off. Hey. Uh, before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. You scouted out the hangar? Yes, and I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. The bathroom? I see that certainly is the best place to look for stuff. For, to lock lock someone up. <laughs> also, and I also saw... Yeah, that. Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four exosols. Right? So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. Oh, I saw that too. What, you saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kibo? Yes, I thought maybe I could get through to Kokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. What? What? What did you witness? We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. Shuichi saw four exosols that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes, the green exosols. Right, exosol. The green one, I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the exosols' presence. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on exosols? Well, that's interesting. Considering it's where the exosols are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Anyway, there are two exosols in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only electro bomb, we can't afford to miss. That's exactly right. Hmm. Well, then, we're off for real this time. Let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. All right, so off we go. Evan drives and motivated. The group rushed out of the dining hall, one after the other. All right, here I go. All right, it's time for fun. And it turns into an action game. No, nah, not really. But that would certainly be fun. Uh, can I just straight up teleport? God damn it, I keep going the wrong way. Yeah, I can. So here we go. Off to, uh... Off to this place. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Oh, here we go. We. Whoa, whoa, what's going on over there? Huh? Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Exosols. And the Exosols... They look disconnected. They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? <laughs> they were never connected. There are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. Just like Kipo said, we sh should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. If all five of them are here, it'd be impossible to execute the plan. All right, let's keep moving. All right, and off we go. To... to the... this part. All right, well, that's still on. Well, then. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. I'm ready. Maki, are you ready with the electrobomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? 
It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, it should disable the alarm system. I mean, that's what all grenades do. This won't fail. They, they lag. The Electrobomb has an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the Exosols. Let's stop Kokichi before he gets into the Exosol, but be ready for the worst. We might have to use the Electro Hammers. If he gets into the exos that Exosol, I'll stop him with this hammer. Yeah, you're right. What's the matter? What's wrong, Maki Roll? We're all ready to start, you know. Yeah, all right. Then let's go. You, you, sound, you sound like Boo Boo Bear. Who? Yogi Bear's friend. Me? Yeah, when you were voicing Himiko. Okay. Let's go, Yogi. Maki <laughs> triggered the electro bomb, then rolled it in front <laughs> of the shutter. Out. And then... Poop. Oh, I don't know, Yogi. I'm fucking gay, I Yogi. Guess. Please. The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi, will you do the honors? All right, leave it to me. Uh, all right. Off we go. All right. all right, if I hit the control panel with this, as I swung up the hell electro hammer, I suddenly noticed. Hmm? The control panel was covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. I uh -oh. wonder what, what that means. Shuichi, what are you doing? Hurry up! Okay. Sorry, I've got it. Uh, no time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. All right, and oh. off it. <laughs> yes, yeah, something did happen. The electric barrier turned off. Let's go. We all ran into the shutter at once. We won't let Koichi do whatever he wants anymore. You better be ready. This is it. The remnants of despair end here and now. And and after opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand, to end this, to end this killing game, to end this despair. But but what did we see? What? What? Hey! Show me. Yeah. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Who is it? I mean, is that's Kaito's sleeve. Ugh. That's a horrible way to go. What did he get chewed up in the. What the fuck? He just got crushed! What? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Fucker. A body has been discovered! Oh my Everyone. god. Oh no. <laughs> the killing game just oh my god. Well, he was yeah. pretty sick anyway. Who, Kaito? Yeah. Yeah, he was sick. Kaito, the one that died? Do We don't know. Oh shit. Now, the investigation is actually pretty short. I think we should do it now. But I mean, you have okay. to do taxes. Don't worry about it. Okay. Your voyage without purpose and something that I didn't see. Because it went right to left for some stupid reason. What is this? What's going on? Yeah, that's fucked up. Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Uh... What is that blood? The body discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? Yeah, that uh, you got fucking Ooh. crushed. Who? The only, one, the only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. It must be one of them. What? Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead? Oh, look. What? Let me see. Yeah? Those clothes. Yep, that's Kaito's oh, jacket. Yeah. yeah. They're Kaito's. What did you say? Then the one in the hydraulic press is... No, it's not possible. He stayed in the bathroom. Yeah, we don't know. Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. That's what the killing game's all about, after all. <laughs> and so I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. Oh, Ugh, okay, yeah, bye. I just hate him. Well, yeah, he's supposed Hold to be Hold on, we have to investigate? So the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue. If the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then... Right. It means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. What was if, that? Oh. if Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Oh. Kai Kaito. No, that's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito could die. It has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when... Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Calm down. How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... I've seen so much death already. Death 
of both good and bad people. We all have. Doesn't bother me anymore. He doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? More importantly, where's Kokichi? That's right, I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good at hide-and-seek he is, we can't let him get away with this. Wait, we can't leave yet. We don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. If it's not Kaito, then who's, the de <coughs> who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Yeah, there's a lot of questions. Why? And if Kaito is alive, why hasn't he showed himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible! I don't think Kaito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Yeah, but who knows? And his opponent, oh, the sorry. Ma How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? You, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I'm just saying it's possible. Ah, and even if it is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaito is the culprit. So does that mean the culprit is one of us? Wait, that's impossible. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito is dead. But I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito is dead. Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands. And reveal that truth in the trial. So you want to continue the killing game? A class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. Oh, God. Yeah, he told me shit. He, he said all that fun, fun stuff. That's right, I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. You're right, if the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. But we already know the answer. But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. If he just plays dumb and runs away, that'll all be nothing we can do. There'll yeah, be nothing we can do. because he's a jerk. Oh, God. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Junko and Anoshima cherish the killing game rules. So if the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. Yeah, but who knows? Then, then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah, that's true. I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Well then. well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you? Yeah, let's do it. So, what does it say? Oh! What? The body was discovered in the Exosol hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. Come on. S so, even the file's not telling us who died. Fucking A, how do you find out? Monok we'll find out. Oh, that's it? That doesn't tell us anything. The identity of victim is unknown? It doesn't even tell us that much? If it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the culprit are. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. Oh, wait, Maki, it's still too early to decide that. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but Kaito told me. He said, you gotta find the truth. <laughs> the end. I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. I refuse to investigate with you. Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now you're acting like Kaito, back in Ganta's class trial. I mean, yeah, kind of. It was like that at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Yeah, that's fair. The truth is not always fun. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. Uh. Um, there's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. Maybe because of all the blood. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. Oh no. I don't feel weird at all. Then... It's gotta <clears> be <throat> because of the electro bomb. Kipo's an electronic appliance after all. That makes him sound like a toaster. Don't call me an appliance. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. Fucking hell, Himiko. Really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Okay. Bye. Kipo left the hangar swaying side to side a bit. <clears throat> then... I think I'll start investigating, too. Or will you be okay by yourself? I could go with or no. with you if you want. No, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for us all to investigate by ourselves. Okay. No, I don't think so. Himiko left in a hurry. Bye. Oh, oh well, she's over there. What? <laughs> 
I wonder if Amiko suspects... Suspects who? Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obvious Gokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Yeah, who knows? Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. We were un when united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaito? To disrupt our harmony. Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Because he's a jerk. Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi's going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. To the end, in the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in his trap. Uh, this is all part of Kokichi's plan. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. No point standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. So this is the only the only one where I don't actually have a partner with me. I'll start here. All right, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence. All right, so let's first uh, check the clothing. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be. I don't want to do it, but I have to praise the press to inspect the body. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, check the panel. These controls have the hydraulic press. It can move. It can go up, down, stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is. Well, he could but have, I have changed to do his it. clothes and I have to know. in there. <clears throat> That's true. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Strange, it moved when I pressed it last time. Yeah, but now they, they have that bomb that went press, off, right? I found... The power cord is cut. Yeah, the, your first your first thought shouldn't be the power cord. It should be the bomb. But that's I mean right. that it's that's also true. The power cord's uh. cut. I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Can't like Kibo hold it and the other side so that it would create like a thing? In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. I should take another look at the control panel. The controls. There must be some clue here. All right. In addition to the control button, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you use this. Well, well, if the culprit were playing this murder, they have to use. They'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right. This hydraulic press should have had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. Yeah, so... That's right. It didn't. Yes. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stop automatically, huh? All right. Uh... Well. I forget if I... Okay, I do. I, the, the hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. This is how it looks on the inside. It's small, but big enough for one person. But, uh... Humans shouldn't be able to control that. The hatch is open? How strange, only the monocubs can turn off the electric lock and open the hatch. Only the monocubs can open the hatch? Normally the monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Normally being the key word. Because of the electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope, no one's asked me about it either. And even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. So it's not that only the cubs can pilot it, right. it's that only they can get inside it. An electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why only the monocubs can control the exosols. But if you could disable the lock, you could control the exosol. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go on over to the bathroom. This is the bathroom, now that I think about it. Yeah, that's where Kaito was. Right. Because he was just... This is the place where Kaito was in prison. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. I uh, know he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Uh... Mm, oh, what's that? God, shit. Yeah. And King Toilet. Uh, what is this? Crossbow arrow. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. With blood on them. Three in total, and blood on all of them. What is this? What happened here? Yeah, what What the fuck happened here? Maybe they, they killed him and then stuck him in the press. Maybe. A crossbow, this is. Then that wouldn't uh, conflict with the thing. One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. 
Why is this here? Okay, yeah, why is there a crossbow? Uh, what's this? So there's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's poison. empty. It does say poison. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has yeah, blood sure all over it. I can't sure. read it completely. Yeah, I like how the blood covers everything but the word poison. I but I can see the word poison. And if it is if it is poison, this bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with this case. Alright. Uh traces of blood. A blood stain, a puddle of blood in the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from there to the door. What could this mean? Yeah, what could that mean? Hi. Uh know. what else is there to investigate here? That should be everything. Oh, the window. Ugh. A small window for enterprise. This is blah. Yeah, it's the fucking it's that window. It's a small window, and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Hmm, I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Alright. That should be everything in here now. What the hell? What, what else do I need to investigate? Oh! I didn't see that. Ah, this case. Yeah, it's the crossbow case. That's it's, it's the crossbow case, yeah. This is the case from before, right? Large black cast. Hmm, Alright, right. finished investigating the bathroom. There were more clues than I thought there'd be, and one is particularly concerning. Yeah, why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? It's, it's a good question. And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are the three bloodied? Oh boy. And the bottle of poison. What could that have been used for? Hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Yeah, this this seems like a really uh, really wonky case so far. Uh, what I, what do I need to investigate? I think I need to check this blood over here. What is this? A blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern, as if dragged. Yet it went from the bathroom. It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. The blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. All right. That's what they did. They killed him in the bathroom, and yeah. then they put him in the press. Uh, what's here to investigate? I didn't think there was anything else. I might have to talk to... Oh, what about the pa the painting machine? I don't think this is relevant at all. Yeah, it's not related. Okay, so I have to talk to Samugi, I think. Let's see what she has to say. The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Yeah, it won't be much use to us. It's so useless. He probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. Well, that's not true. Okay, that didn't... Oh, wait, whoa, what's up? It's fine, it's fine. A mascot's appeared at a murder scene. It brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. Well, he popped out. What an attention hog. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet I've appeared fewer times than the plain Jane Samugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know. Well, okay, then why'd you leave? Advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Uh, f Fimoko, what do you have to say? What? What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No, that's not. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. Jesus Christ, Himiko. If you keep bugging me, I'll give you afro hair with my magic. That's worshipped in Japan. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Maybe. Oh, what? Did I not? Shit. Okay, do I have to check the bit of clothing again? Uh, no. okay, no, that... Oh, I didn't see this before. A hole in the sleeve. What could this be? Oh, could that be a shot from an arrow? Maybe. I suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have many clues to work with. Find more clues elsewhere. Alright, so now I can leave. What? What the fuck? It just said I can leave. Oh, there is still something to investigate. I didn't see this. The operation panel. Oh, God. It's a panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Okay, I guess I, that didn't do anything. What the fuck? Samugi, do you have anything new to say? Let, let me just scroll through this quickly. There's okay, no, it's the same thing. Uh, Himiko? Uh... I don't want to Yeah, it's the same thing. 
I, I, I literally just said that there's nothing else to investigate, so why is... So why is everyone? And I can't investigate that. I hope this didn't glitch out, because I, I wasn't supposed to investigate the, uh, the this first. What else is there to investigate? The operation panel? I already checked it. Yeah, what the fuck? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, did I not actually check the hydraulic press? Oh, I might not. If we use the lift, but the power curve has been cut, in that case we won't be able to check the body. I really hope the game didn't glitch out. Because that would be oh, really bad. You made up. Well, let's see if Exosol Red is anything. The Red Exosol is completely still. Luigi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No, it shouldn't move anymore, not without the monocubs or... Yeah, it's Gigi. just a pile of scrap. Jeez, don't scare me like that. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. But I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Why didn't you say so sooner? That is if Kokichi's alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exos. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Okay, great. Fuck. Okay, I still can't decide who the victim is. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. Okay, I thought it glitched out for a second because I think you're not supposed to- I thought you might not supposed to be entered- entered the toilet for- Fuck, I can't talk right now, but whatever. Uh, I get it. Yeah. The alarm system is off. It must still be affected by the electrobomb. I should investigate this place thoroughly. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's check this. Why are there scratches here? This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with the electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's true. That's right. What are these marks here? It looks as if it's been struck by something sharp. What could these be? Ah, uh, wait. How were they even be- How were they even able to damage this in the first place? I agree. Getting near the control panel should cause the could alarm to go Alexica? off. Alexa? Alexa? Whatever they are. Alexa? Alexials? <laughs> Alexa, disable this control panel. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Good question. Uh, and Kiba was saying that he saw something last night. Phew, I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I need to ask Kibo. Hey, Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... Yeah, we know yeah, what he said. He said, we'll I later, saw, right, saw something. Blah, 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 blah. All right, sold. You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Ah, hmm. uh, yes, yeah, since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosol returning to the hangar. Yes, you said the Exosols could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exosol, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. You saw someone? I saw Himiko. What? Uh -huh. Yeah. Shit. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the... What, were you writing him a fucking letter? ...something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. A black bag? Oh, where's that? What's that black bag? I don't know. You, what do you mean you don't know? We just saw it in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, At the right. time, oh, I assumed she oh was going God, there shit. to examine things no or plead with Kokichi. Way. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. Did she shoot someone with the fucking crossbow? Maybe. Oh. She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. True, it is suspicious. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at that time? Now that I think about it, she didn't. So she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be. That black bag, that ba black bag Himiko was carrying was... By the way, this is a little off-topic, Shuichi, but... Huh, what is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electrobomb, but it was because of the electromagnetic part particles, not because I'm... Wait, did he just say... Okay. Not because I'm a robot. Okay, so what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Ah, oh, oh, right, that must be it. Thou protest too yeah. much. So that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Okay. Well, I mean, you, you'd be sensitive too if you're like, fuck- A robot? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, bathroom window. Okay. I don't know if this- is, No, that's not important. Okay, uh... I think I just checked this one thing over here and then we're done with the investigation. What? what uh... The Exosol isn't showing any signs of moving. If Kokichi's alive, he can use his remote control to move them as he pleases. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols... What is... Okay, no, that's the same thing. Uh, where the fuck is it? 
I'm, l I'm looking for something over here. There it is. What? It's an electro hammer. There's oh. an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power. It must have been used, but used for what? Yeah, we, we know what the electro hammers do. If the electro hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to recharge. We know that for certain. Yeah, why is it here? I remember the si site I saw yesterday. Yeah, they were all like that. Exosol protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kokichi said he was the mastermind. The Exosol should have been around him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them, too. Yeah, what does that mean? I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi, I ignored Monokuma. Oh, and here he is. Yep. Pay attention, listen up. Take heed, I say. Monokuma? It's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? You were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video Ugh. store. Do they even have those anymore? Yeah. But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. Hey. Fuck, my feet are like asleep. What are you saying, we didn't have to sneak? Because everyone, everyone's coming to, the re to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone going there is the same. No, it's not that. I meant about the Exosols not attacking us. Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Their movements are are more looted now that the monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? No. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ugh. So the Exosols were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma? Why would they do that? Why are you telling me all this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Mm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That way, it'll be fair to all the participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? That's all I can tell you. By the way, renting movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download oh, them. God. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during oh, sex. Oh god, that's stupid. Well, he's, he's making a bear joke. Yeah, this information about the exosols could be a clue to solve solving the case. I should remember this. Yeah, did you know that bears hold their breath during sex? No, I did not know that. Yeah, because because it's not true. Uh, <laughs> you ass. <laughs> okay, so I go I go back in here. I believe I go back in here. Hanger shutter. Oh yeah, I have to see that. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote. A loud alarm would go off around the entire academy. We have to use an electro bomb to sail the sensor. We sense the know alarm. this. Oh, we got to the oh hangar. Yeah, we we know what they do. We know what they do. Oh, uh, now I think about it. There was three electro bombs. One was stolen by Maki, but what of the other two? I mean, that's that's why we need that. All right, so uh, that's about all I was concerned with in the hangar. I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other place that might yield some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom. The bottle of poison. I need to. In Oh, God damn it! I should also inspect the three exosols that were protecting Monokuma. Why were they protecting him in the first place? That, that might be related to the case as well. That's right, I do have to go to the labs. I totally forgot about that. Uh, no, God damn it! I, I saw all this. Uh, okay. I thought I already... I already saw the... these. What exactly did I witness here? Uh... Alright, uh... Yeah, that, okay, that... Why are you telling me to investigate that shit if it doesn't yield anything? Okay, so we gotta go to... I think my lab first. Where is my lab? I... I uh... Wait a minute. I have to pee. Okay. You can go pee. No, let's just finish. Just finish? Alright. I you think... You have to be there soon. Uh... Where? The tile store? Yes. Because I it closes at 5. We'll be fine. Okay, so I leave out here and I... close at 4.30. What? Wait, they close at 4.30? I thought. I don't know. Dad said they close at 5. Alright. Why can't I not teleport? I want to teleport to, to my just to places. just go. Well, hold on. Where is this? Okay, uh... Okay, there we go. Okay, I have to go to Maki's lab first, that's why. <clears throat> okay, uh... There it is. Off we go. The ultimate assassin lab all. I mean, we should be done in like five minutes. Or like ten minutes, maybe. 
I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Yeah, because Kaito was like, we gotta take those weapons and do shit. It's because Kaito had them. Uh, what do I have to investigate here? Is it is it this stuff? The weapon shelf? Feels as though there are less weapons here. Yeah, we, we literally just saw that. Yeah, Kaito had them. So that's not important to the case. Oh, here we go. Here's the black case. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the hangar. They're cases for the crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. But there are two. When I was here with Kaito before... Yeah, there was three. And then, uh... He didn't bring any. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught you. I'll think more about that later. For now, I need to investigate. Uh... I think that's the only thing in here. So now I go all over to my lab, which is... Well, the poison will be missing, you know? Yeah. Duh. Yeah, that's... No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> that's who he is. Sherlock Homo, as Mew called him. <laughs> I miss her. I wish she Me lived too. to, lived to the her. end of the game. But she did survive more than halfway, so... Yeah, that was good. The bottle of poison in the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. Uh, chemicals... There's several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside this lab, so the small bottle of poison... Uh, there's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. The label says Strike 9 Poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it maybe if it's can on be the lethal. Top of, wait, maybe if you put it on the, yeah, there's a small amount on of the for no crossbow reason. arrows. Yeah, maybe. This must be a clue. Okay. Uh... I believe there's something- oh, here we go. This is something important. There are a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? These bottles- bottles say antidote! Oh, shit! Antidotes, huh? I didn't know these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose, and each one only works on a specific poison. Well, I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so that must be true for antidotes. Alright, strike nine poison and antidotes. That is disconcerting. None of them- oh, wait, what did it say? None of these antidotes are for Strike 9 poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, on that contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Monokuma is still around, moving around, and the killing game hasn't ended. And Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press, which means the victim must be. No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. I should check again. Okay, uh... So I just teleport to the hangar, and and there's only I think there should only be one more uh, one more clue. God damn it! Okay, I have to leave this room first, and then I think I can teleport. Uh, is there gonna be someone out here waiting for me? Nope. All right. So let me teleport outside. It it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm just not allowed to teleport when I'm in a room. Ugh. Alright, off we go! Wee. You still think this place looks like a casino? Yep, I do. Every time you go in there, I'm looking for... <laughs> You're looking for the, the slot, slot machines. machines. <laughs> yep, I do. And the and the craps table. Hey! Uh, oh, do, do, do. Alright, what we got going on here? Uh, can you come with me? Is something wrong? I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. It's just a massive, massive turd. He shouted quickly and ran into the bathroom. What are you talking about, Kibo? Eh, eh, in we go. Alright. So let's see. Whoa, what's that sticking out of the toilet? Ew, what is that? <laughs> Shit! Is Kibo, what are you looking at? Take a look at this. Is that part of his ass? What? Oh, that's his clothes. They're Kokichi's clothes. It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt that these these are Kokichi's. Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Yeah. Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my Ooh. hand down the drain and pulled out these clothes. And what it if looks it was like... a pile of shit you were pulling out? Well, Ew. he would have been fine with that, too. He's a robot. It looks like they see? couldn't be flushed all the way. Maybe they changed clothes. I Could, told you that. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Uh -oh. Yeah, it was very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. It was very brave of uh, me. Yes, it sure the fuck now, was. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ew, I'm not Clogging the that. toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. 
Ew, I wouldn't touch that. Hell well, you hell. have to for the investigation. Cookie just Let the robot touch it. Found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Okay. okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. See, he's hesitant. This has to be an important clue. All right. I made up my mind. Grab Kokiji's soaked clothes and spread them open. Huh? There's shit all over these. No. There's a there's small hole in the back. Uh, more. Oh my god. And another both small of them hole. Fucking dead. On the sleeve. Oh shit. Are they both in that machine? Maybe. This is about the same size as the one on Kaito's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes too. What does this mean? It could mean that he was attacked. In that case. No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press. Well, where the fuck are they then? Look yeah. around the whole uh, school. Kibo, thank you. Thank you. This is a very important clue. Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. Really? You fucking pulled it out! Really? Uh, your hands aren't clean either, though. Kokichi's clothes. Okay, and that should be it. But if Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press, where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going, even though the mastermind is dead? Um. If this is awkward, Shoichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. You're concerned about that? Really? Dope. Yeah, now it's gonna be the ding-dong. Kibo and I washed our hands in the sink and left the bathroom. Alright. Well then look all around the school! Yeah, where are they? It's just, they can't be, you know, they gotta be yeah. somewhere. God damn it! what else? There's nothing else to investigate here. Kibo, what do you want? All right. Now that we're out of the bathroom, we can get done. Oh, do I have to talk to Himiko because of what Kibo said? You and Kibo both look more refreshed now. Refreshing each other in the boys' bathroom even now. You can't help yourselves, huh? You Ew, are. She is turning into Mew now. I guess she's turning This is all Himiko's imagination, but I don't even want to touch that right now. Really? Oh, fucking... Okay, uh... Samugi? Hey. Oh, no, it's not. It's not her that I have to talk to. Oh, god Ooh. damn it. Never mind. They were just saying the same thing. Suichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? I mean, your face says you want to think that, it's plain to but I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi is being manipulating us all along. I can't believe someone like that could have killed, could be killed by Kaito. Uh, of course, I don't mean to com compliment Kokichi or maybe make fun of Kaito or anything. <laughs> you just can't read. I can't. I know, I you're probably right. Sumugi has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died, but I'm certain that one of them must have. Well, duh. Oh, okay. Okay, so... So what they were saying is that... Is that we looked all over the school. Was no one able to find Kokichi? I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. Right. Uh... I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar or under there. Okay, yeah. Alright, so now what is he gonna say? Yeah, great. Yep. Yep, we know what you have to say. We'll be swiftly and <laughs> yep, despair. <laughs> despair, despair, hope, 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 dreams. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaito, whoever's alive, will be there. At the trial, we'll know who the victim is. Oh, is that really true. true? I don't know. All right, so let's let's uh, head on over to the Shrine of Judgment real quick. And then, uh... We sh where where is where is you? There you are. So we'll just go on over, and maybe we'll know who it is. Uh, but they're not here. No, they're not. Yeah. Huh? This isn't everyone, right? Kaito and Kokichi aren't here. I bet Kokichi is already there. You bastard! As the mastermind of the killer game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito is alive. Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki? Well, this is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I'll... No, I'll lose to despair. Well, lose to despair. Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. The only five will be left. Only five. That's right. We're the only ones left. We're the only ones left alive. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. Okay. Okay. No matter what she has to sacrifice, are you sure about that, Maki? And that is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us, if it was Kaito? 
Well, let's just talk to Maki real quick. Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, Kibo. Let's go. No matter what, Kokichi's Kuba. Yeah, Hope's Peak. And Smoogie? What do you have to say? Suichi, I understand you don't want to believe it, but Kaito's not here anymore. Maybe. And Himoko? God, only four people. I'm fine. I'll be on my guard the whole time. I'm filled with the combined power of hope and magic right now. Okay. Sure you are. That's a good, good com combination. And here we go. Gotta break this thing that they replaced every single time. Bang. And point at me and go down. <sighs> so who do you think is dead? Both of them. You think both of them are dead? No. I think... I actually I actually did think both of them were dead I at this think, point. We didn't say where to... I think another. Kokichi's dead. I thought they were both in the hydraulic press. Silent as a tone. We stepped through these open doors. I I'm not going to say I'm not gonna say if I was right or wrong. All right, don't. But, but that's my... Uh, that was my uh, thought process when Mine we started going here. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we do? We, we, wait. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? A burden you kuma? <laughs> As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Yep. Yeah. That's true. And here we are. Oh, this looks nice. This looks like the first games. A battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is truly a magnificent theme. Only estimated, only esteemed works of fiction have have themes as magnificent as this. Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Yeah, where where the fuck is he? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. Well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What what's going on? What are you scheming now? It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but we'll never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of no rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death. Add a dash of lies and truth. Bake it in the fires of conflict. And when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly God. decadent class trial. Okay, so, oh, and, well, boy. first now they're going to do the thing where it's like, and once more we faced a class trial, but we do this. Who was it? Was the one who died Kaito or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. Oh. Notice he's blue instead of red. Right. But I will still, but I will fight to pro prove it. Because it's like a question mark. I will fight with everyone. And there's Kokichi. He's, He's blue, blue too. Also, yeah. Right. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight this. Yeah, truth and lies. Maybe they're both alive. Maybe they are both alive. And then it's somebody else they dug out of the crypt. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> so next time we're going to do the trial. And it is a very strong trial. Oh. I think I think it's one of the best trials of the oh, series. Good. I can't wait. Okay, so bye everyone. Bye.